to the topic of today's lesson is the promise of God on you and your family. The promise of God and you and your family. The promise of God and you and your family. Family is so important to a true man and to God. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus, you are worthy to be praised. I love you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, worthy, worthy, worthy. Lord, come and quench 
this thirsting of my soul, bread of heaven, feed me till I want no more, fill my cup, fill it up, and let it flow, thank you Jesus. Fill my cup, Lord. Fill it up, Jesus. Fill it up, Lord. Let it overflow, God. Come and quench this thirsting of my soul. Jesus, bread of heaven, Almighty God. Glory to your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to your holy name, Jesus. You are the bread of heaven, Lord. Feed me, Jesus, until I want no more, Lord. Feed me till I want no more, Holy Ghost. Fill my cup, O oh Jesus. Fill it up and let it flow. Let it overflow, God. Fill my cup, Lord. Lift me up, Lord. Holy Ghost, just enough, my soul. Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, Almighty God, Eternal Father, glory to your holy name, Jesus. Fill my cup, Lord, and let it overflow. Fill me, Lord Jesus, until I want no more. Fill me, Lord Jesus, let my cup overflow. Almighty God, Eternal Father, fill my cup, Lord, and let it overflow, Jesus. Let it overflow with your Holy Spirit. I say thank you. And as I come before you right now, God, I lift up your holy name and I give you praise. And I tell you thanks in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, as I come before your people right now, Lord God, I pray that you will use my mouth as your mouthpiece, Jesus. Use my tongue, Lord God. Use me as you desire, Lord God. Help me, Lord God, that whatever I do or say will bring glory and to your holy name. And as I continue to pray, I ask you, Lord, to fill me up, Lord. Fill my cup, Lord, and let it overflow. Let it overflow within you, Lord. We thank you, and we say thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. My brothers and sisters, I am here today with another episode of the love of Jesus Christ. And so I greet you in the mighty name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior. He is our soon coming King. Jesus is coming back again for the second time time and we want to make sure that we prepare ourselves and be ready when Jesus come again and so today we are here to read the word of God and to be strengthened by his word and so I am urging you to pay attention to his word and let us be encouraged by his word. We are love and faith gospel ministry and we desire to teach and preach and help one another to grow in love and in unity in the presence of the Lord. And our desire is for everyone to love as God taught us to love each other and to believe in God 
and to believe in the promise that he made us through our Lord Jesus Christ. Today, God gave us Jesus so we could be his family. And that is why, because we are so important to him, he allow Jesus, his only begotten son, to be crucified and to die on the cross so we can obtain eternal life and to grow and to be a part of his household. And he said, if we walk in the spirit, we will be able to see the light because he is the way, the truth, and the light. And we can only go to the Father through Jesus. And so God sent Jesus to be our family so that we would understand how important it is to be a man with good family. And so every true man desire to have good family. And that is why sometimes as a man or as a person, whenever we are doing something, we always think of the consequences or the benefits that it will bring to our family. And so it is very important for us to do the things that is right so that we can bring blessings and to our family. Family is important to a true man and to God. To a true man and to God. And so the Bible says, the Bible says in the book of Genesis chapter 27 verse 8, Now my son, listen careful, listen carefully and do what I tell you. And so this was Rebecca talking to Jacob. This was Rebecca talking to Jacob. Rebecca said to Jacob, Now, my son, listen carefully and do what I tell you. We continue in the book of Genesis chapter 27 verse 9. And this scripture will be taken from Genesis chapter 27, verse 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So as I continue to read, you can know these scriptures and you can make a note and you can read them for yourself. <clears throat> and so in the book of Genesis chapter 27, verse 9, the Bible says, Rebecca tell Jacob to do what he told him to do. This is what Rebecca tell Jacob to do. Go out to the flock and bring me two choice young goats so I can prepare some tasty food for your father just the way he likes it mother <clears throat> be careful of what you teach your son and your daughter mothers fathers guardians be careful of what you teach your children don't teach them to be a canatist and don't teach them the things that is wrong. Mother, be responsible and grow up your child in the, in the Lord so that when he grow older, he will not depart from him. Rebecca was a woman who had a twin child. And so she gave birth to Jacob and Esau. 
Rebecca favored Jacob over Esau. And so Rebecca will do whatever it takes necessary to make sure that Jacob get the best of everything at any cost. And so in the same way, we see this thing playing out even in the ministry, in the churches, in people with high authority, it plays out in the life of people throughout this world. And so mother, parents, and guardian of your children, please teach your child to do the right thing. Because the way that they were brought up and the way that they grow will have an impact on how they see God and how they, they see life. And don't be a woman like Rebecca and teach your child to do wrong in order to obtain a blessing. Because it will bring curse on your favorite child instead of bring a blessing. And the book, as we continue to read from the book of Genesis chapter 27 verse 10. Then take, then Rebecca is saying to Jacob, then take it to me, to your father, eat it so that he may give you his blessings before he die. And so we see where J Rebecca is telling Jacob that he should choose one of the goats and take it to her so that she will kill it and cook the food tasty just the way Isaac liked the food and then he will give him, uh, him Jacob the blessing. But indeed, in their tradition, the blessings go to the firstborn. That would be Esau. But because Rebecca didn't want the first son to get the blessings from Jacob, she overheard a conversation where Isaac was telling Esau that he should go and, and kill a goat and bring to him and cook it and so that he will give him the blessings before he died. And so Rebecca overheard the conversation and go to Jacob and tell him to do that quickly before his brother Esau return. And so the Bible says, then take it to your father to eat so that he will he may give he may give his blessing before he die Jacob said to Rebecca his mother but my my brother Esau is a hairy man while I have smooth skin and so you see where Jacob didn't actually agree with what his mother Rebecca was teaching him because he was trying to convince Rebecca that it's not going to work because he has smooth skin and his brother Esau's skin is hairy. But just to show you how convincing mothers and guardians can be and how they can influence their child to do wrongs and to be a canatist and to be a bad person. The way a child grows can have an impact on what happens through their life and how they see God. And so as I continue to read from the book of Genesis chapter 27 verse 12. What if Jacob is saying this to Rebecca? Jacob said, what if my father touches me? I would appear to be 
taking him and would be down, bring down a curse on myself rather than a blessing. And so we see that Jacob indeed did not agree with what Rebecca is teaching him to do because Jacob have a heart that is of God and he was trying to convince Rebecca his mother that what you are teaching me is not right because Jacob was mama's favorite son and the Bible says Jacob said to his mother what if my father touches me I would appear to be tricking him and would bring down a curse on myself rather than a blessing and the Bible continued to read in the book of Genesis chapter 27 verse 13 the Bible says his mother said to him go let the curse fall on me just do what I say go and get me get them for me and see Rebecca is trying to do everything that he can to convince Jacob to trick his brother Esau and get the birthright from the blessed from Isaac because Isaac was blind and could no longer see and the Bible says his mother Rebecca said to Jacob let let the curse fall on me just do what I say go and get them for me in the book of Genesis chapter 27 verse 43 the Bible says now then my son do what I say feel that once to my brother flee at once so when Jacob do all what his, his mother Rebecca taught him to do when Esau came home with the food prepare the food taste it and bring it to his father his father returned to him and said my son I have already give the blessing to your brother Jacob and so Esau became mad and it started a, boy, a war between Jacob and Esau and we see that Jacob indeed did not interested in being a con artist but because of what he was taught by his mother Rebecca he grew up to be a con artist and so the Bible says the Bible says in the book of Genesis chapter 27 verse 43 Je Rebecca said unto Jacob now then my son do what I say flee at once to my brother Laban, Laban in Aaron in the book of Genesis 28 chapter 10 the Bible says Jacob left Bathsheba and set out for Aaron. And so Jacob had was to run away from Bathsheba because of what he was taught by his mother. Parents, be careful of what you teach your children it can indeed have an impact on the way they see God and the way they grow. It will impact their future. 
So please teach them to do the right thing. The Bible says, when, when he reached in the book of Genesis 28, chapter 11, the Bible says, when he reached a certain place, he stopped for the night because the sun had set. Taking one of the stone there, he put it under his head and lay down to sleep. Jacob had was to flee for his life because of what he was taught by his mother Rebecca. And the Bible says in Genesis chapter 28 verse 12, he had a dream in which he saw a stairway resting on the earth with its top reaching to heaven. And the angels of God were ascending and descending on it. Holy Spirit, glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Spirit, I love you. Abba, eternal God, we thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for your presence. We thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to your name. Jesus, Abba, eternal God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. And the Bible says, the Bible says, Jacob, Jacob, the Bible says, he, he saw the Bible said he saw a stairway, stairway on the earth with its top reaching to heaven and the angels of God were ascending and descending on it. So indeed it was a ladder that the angel of God was going up and down and communicating with God on earth and in heaven. As I continue to read from the book of Genesis chapter 28, verse 30. There above it stood the Lord, and he said, I am the Lord, the God of your father Abraham, and the God of Isaac. I will give you and your descendants the land on which you are lying. Oh my God, glory to Jesus. And so God is saying to you today, my brother, God is saying to you today, come. God is saying to you, my brothers and my sister, come. If you, are, if you have been influenced by someone or your mother or your father or your guardian, your brother or sister, it doesn't matter who you was influenced by. Because sometimes we were influenced by other people and we ended up on the wrong side of the road. Because the word of God says, there is two roads to heaven. There is two roads. One narrow is the road to heaven and broad is the road to, to hell. And so if parents brought up your child in lie and being a canatist, you will find yourself on the road to destruction. So if you were indeed Encourage to be on the wrong side of the road, please. God said unto us, the book of John 3, verse 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but they shall obtain eternal life. 
Jesus said he is the way, the truth, and the light. And no man can come to the Father except through him, Jesus. And so I am encouraging you today, if you find your side on the wrong side of the road, there is Jesus awaiting for you to take you back on the right side of the road. The word of God said, wide is the road to destruction, but narrow is the road to salvation. And if you find yourself on the wrong road, just like when you are going somewhere that you are not sure where you're going, and you will use the GPS to take you to the correct place, Jesus wants to be your GPS. He wants to guide you to the road to salvation. And that is why he, he gave his life on the cross so that you could follow him and he will take you to the road to salvation. Don't be, don't be stuck on the wrong side of the road. Jesus want to be your GPS. He want to take you to the right side of the road. He want to show you the right turn so you can be on the right side of the road. And that is the road that will take you to salvation. And so if you are indeed a canatist or you are a fornicator, adulterer, a homosexual, if you are indeed a bad person and find yourself on the wrong side of the road, remember that there is a way. You don't have to stay on the wrong side of the road. You can take it to Jesus and he will take you to the throne. He will lead you to the throne of grace. Please, if you are indeed any of those persons, please turn from your wicked ways. The word of God said, if my people who are called by my name would have humbled themselves and turned from their wicked ways, he would have healed our land. And so today, Jesus is calling you. He's saying to you, my brother, come. Come as you are. Word of God says, the Lord said in the book of John 3, verse 16, I give the world to my only begotten son. Who is in the world? The world considered to be worldlings to be people who was indeed find themselves on the wrong side of the road. And today, Jesus is saying to you, come. He gave the world to Jesus. And if you are willing to take a step of faith and take it to Jesus, then you will indeed be on the right side of the the road and so come let Jesus take you to the father he is awaiting for you the Bible says the Bible says early the next morning and that's we are reading from the book of Genesis chapter 28 verse 18 the Bible says, early the next morning, Jacob took the stone he had spread under his head and set it up as a pillow and poured oil on top of it. And so Jacob, while he was going to, 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 to Aaron, he was not able to complete the journey in one day, and so he decided to take a rest. But he take a stone by faith and lay his head on that stone. And if we look back in the book of 
in the book of um in the new testament you see where jesus said i am the cornerstone jesus is the rock he is the head cornerstone and you see where jacob took the stone and he lay it under his head and he poured oil on top of it because jacob knew that there is a connection in the oil with man and God. The oil is a symbol of a connection between man and God. God said unto Samuel, Go to go and anoint Saul to be a king because the people wanted a king. And God tell Samuel that he should anoint. God tell Samuel to anoint Saul with oil and bless him as a king. And in the same breath, you see where God sent Samuel to anoint David a king over Israel and told him that he should pour oil on his head and indeed be a blessing on him. And so Jacob knew that there is a connection in the aisle between man and, and God. And so Jacob believed and he poured the oil, he poured the oil on top of it because he believed that God is going to make a way for him. And so today, God is saying to you, my brother, come as you are. If you are indeed a Canatist, come. Let God be your ambassador. Let he give you everything that he promised you. And as I continue to read from the book of Genesis chapter 28 verse 14. God is saying to Jacob. Your descendant will be like the dust of the earth. And you will spread out to the west and to the east, to the north and to the south. And all people on earth will be blessed through you and your offspring. And you see, because Jacob believe in God, he obey what Rebecca said and he had was to run away. And so you see where the word of God said, what the enemy meant for evil, God used it for good. And that is why I am saying to you today, my brother, if you are indeed been convinced by a friend or a brother or a sister to be a trickster, or a canadis turn it over to Jesus because Jesus will work it out for you he said what the enemy meant for evil he will use it for good and he's begging you to come to him come to Jesus the way you can come to Jesus is by repent of your sin and be baptized in the name of Jesus and repent the word of God says no man can go to the Father except they repent and be baptized. Who is born of the flesh is of the flesh. But you have to be born again by the water, the spirit, and the blood. And so God is begging us and pushing us to go on the right side of the road so that we can obtain salvation. And the Bible continues to read in the book of Genesis chapter 28, verse 15. I am with you, Jacob. I am with you and will watch over you wherever you go. And I will bring you back to the land I promised.
promise I will bring you back to this land I will not leave you until I have done what I have promised you and so God is saying to you today my brother he wants to give you the promise he made you those promise that God made you is still available to you but you have to give it up and walk on the narrow road to salvation so you can obtain the many promises that Jesus has in store for you and your family. God said unto Jacob, this is the word of God speaking to Jacob, I am with you and will watch over you wherever you go and I will I will bring you back to the land will the, the land I will not leave you until I have done what I have promised you and so God promised Jacob in the book of Genesis chapter 28 verse 14 which I just read previously but the word of God said he told Jacob that he should go to the east and to the west to the north and to the south and all people on earth will be blessed through you and your offspring and that is why it is important for you to do the right thing and to allow God to have favor upon your life because those favor will pass down to you and your offspring. Your offspring as in your children, your family and your generation. And so God is begging us that we should walk on the right side of the road and continue to enjoy the many promises that he promised that he will not leave until we obtain all those promises. As we continue to read from the book of Genesis chapter 28 verse 16. When Jacob awake from his sleep, he thought, surely the Lord is in this place. And I saw not I was not aware of it and so in the same breath you can be on the wrong side of the road having Jesus with you and don't even recognize it because you are so locked up in being on the wrong side of the road please learn how to acknowledge the presence of God in your circle and to entertain him in your circle by singing psalms, hymns, and melody in your heart to the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says in the book of Genesis chapter 28 verse 17 he was afraid and said how awesome is this place this is none other than the house of god this is the gate of heaven and so jacob come to realize that he is in the presence of god and he is protected and the word of god let us understand that god indeed promise us that he will give us he will bring river in the wilderness and he will bring food to us in the desert and so whatever you are going through today take a step of faith and allow god to lead you unto salvation please 
my brothers and sisters, I am encouraging you to give your life to Jesus. The word of God says in the book of Genesis chapter 28, early the next morning, Jacob took the stone he had placed under his head and set it up as a pillow and pour oil on top of it. Jacob knew that there is a connection between the oil and God. Jacob knew about the connection between the oil and God. And so the Bible says he called that place Bethel through the city used to be called Zul. And so God is here encouraging you to turn to him, which is the source, so he will be able to use you for his glory. He wants to watch over you and your family through the rest of your life. And those blessings will continue to fall on you and your generation, your offspring. Jesus said, the word of God said, Jacob, the angel, Jacob saw the angel and Jacob decided that he's going to wrestle with the angel of God for a change. And Jacob, hold on to the angel and the angel said unto Jacob, let me go because the day is breaking. Jacob replied to the angel of God and said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. And so today I am here to encourage you that the blessings that Jacob received from God, that is, he promised him that he will let it pass down to him and his generation. He said, all people on earth will bless because of you, Jacob, and your offspring. God is saying to you today, wrestle with me like Jacob do. Jacob decided that he don't want to live a life of a canatis any longer. And so Jacob decided that he is going to wrestle with God for a change. And today I am here to encourage you to wrestle with God for a change and allow God to change your life. Wrestle with God for a change and allow the Lord God to change your life. Jesus is waiting for you. What are you waiting for to give your life to God? Wrestle with God for a change, for a breakthrough, for you and your family. God wants to bless you just like he blessed Jacob. Please give it up to Jesus and allow God to be your protection in your life. The word of God said, I will look to the hills from whence commit my help. My help come from the Lord which is in heaven. He will not suffer thy feet to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall never slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy side upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. He shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and forevermore. God is waiting for you. He wants to protect your going out and your coming in. 
You want to protect your foot so it not be moved by any plans of the enemy. And so God is saying to you today, come. Come. Whosoever you are, come. I gave the world to my son. And whosoever call upon his name will be saved. God is saying to you today, come. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. He is waiting for you. Eternal God, Heavenly Father, as I lift my hand to you today, Lord, I continue to lift up your holy name because you are God and because you are the master and you are the founder of this world. Lord God, you are the founder of the hurt, Lord God. And today, as I pray and I lift up your hand, I pray, God, that you will continue to bless your people. Give them a choice, Lord God, to choose. But, Lord, encourage them and put your heart, put your power in their heart, so they will choose you. Lord God, we pray today that you will continue to be a blessing over the life of your people. And, Lord God, your people are crying. Lord Jesus, have mercy upon your people. Have mercy upon the Prime Minister of Jamaica. Have mercy, Lord God, upon the opposition leader of Jamaica. Have mercy, Jesus, upon the President of the United States. Have mercy on the Vice President, Lord. Have mercy upon the opposition leaders of the United States of America. Lord God, continue to give them knowledge and understanding so that they will do what you please, Lord God. Jesus, we come to you right now because we know that you have the power to unlock and to lock Jesus. God, your people are dying through this world. The pandemic is rocking the world, rocking the globe. And we pray, God, that you will put an end to this disease, Lord God, that is killing off your people. Lord God, you said you give it and you take it. And Lord God, we come to you right now as we ask and we pray. We pray that you will deliver your people. Lord Jesus, have mercy upon Dr. Delroy Simmons. He is our chief eagle. Lord God, we pray that you will give him strength and honor. Blessings, Lord God, to do your will, God. Pour into him, Jesus, so we can continue to pour in the eagles and to pour in your people's. Jesus, we come to you right now. And as we pray, we ask you to bless the people who are watching this program right now. Bless them in a very special way. Cover them under your blood. Give them grace and peace. Let your mercy cover them, Lord God. Bless the work of their hands. And bless the sole of their feet. Where whatever they do or say, let it be a blessing unto you. As I ask of you, in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, have mercy upon my family. Have mercy, God, upon my wife, Audrey. Have mercy, Jesus, upon my children. Have mercy, God, upon my children, mothers. Have mercy upon my mothers, my mother, my sisters, and my brothers. Have mercy upon my nieces and my nephews. Have mercy upon the world, God. Have mercy upon my life. As I come to you, Lord, I pray that you will continue to give me strength and to watch over me as time goes by and as I go along. Give me the strength I need, Lord, to continue to do your will. I pray that you will continue to make a way for your people. Lord God, make a way for love and faith gospel ministry. Use this organization to bring glory to your name, God. You gave me this vision to open, form this corporation. And God, I pray that you will continue to be with me through this journey. Jesus, have mercy upon your people as I ask of you in Jesus' name. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Let the word of my mouth 
and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. As I thank you, tell you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. My brothers and sisters, my viewers, please, I am asking you to remember to subscribe to our channel, our YouTube channel, please. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and please share our video. Like, share, and comment. Give us your views and give us your opinion. Let us have some feedback on how you are doing and what you believe about this corporation. Love and Faith Gospel Ministry. We are all about love and faith in God and in our brothers and sisters. We believe in you, my brothers. Believe in yourself. Let us turn to the Jesus, which is the source. Let us lift up the bloodstained banner for him and let his name be glorified. And as I continue to say, please remember to be a blessing to our organization. Please go to our website, loveandfaithgospel.org and be a blessing in whichever way you can. We accept clothes, shoes, and funds. Please make a donation because we. this is not possible to maintain this organization without your help. We reach out to the homeless, the less fortunate, and we help the people who need it most. We, sp we, we specialize in the homeless and the less fortunate. Please be a blessing to our organization. We provide them with basic necessity. Please, thank you for watching. God bless you and may the grace of God be upon your life, you and your family. Grace and peace from God the Father and from our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Be safe and keep safe. God bless. Peace.